Welcome to Foxfield's Parental Engagement video. In this video, I will be sharing parts of our Oracy framework with you and what can be done to support our children with Oracy at home. Before knowing how Oracy can be supported at home, we need to understand what Oracy is. Oracy is the ability to be able to express yourself fluently. It's not only being able to use the appropriate vocabulary to say what you want to say, but also being able to structure your thoughts so that they make sense to your audience, whether it be during a formal presentation or during a casual one-on-one -on -one conversation. At Foxfield, we want to provide the tools and support for our children to be effective communicators and be able to articulate and express their learning in a mature way. As well as reading and writing, speaking and listening are also vital skills that children should be taught. At school, the children have ample opportunities across all areas of the curriculum to be able to engage in, practice and improve their speaking and listening. At Foxfield and the Inspire Partnership, we have created an Oracy framework which maps out and shows the breakdown of the areas and skills the children from nursery to year six need to become confident and effective speakers. These areas are called strands. They include the physical, linguistic, cognitive and social and emotional. On this slide, you will see what is included in each strand. For example, when focusing on the physical strand, children will need to think about how their voice is used and how their body language is perceived. In the linguistic strand, children may focus on the type of language that is used, making sure it is appropriate to the audience that they are speaking to. In the cognitive strand, children may think about what information they want to pass on and how they are going to structure and present this information. Oracy is not an add-on subject, but is something we strive to weave throughout our curriculum. This can be the same at home. To support the school and the children in their Oracy development, we welcome the support of our parents. The strand I'm sharing with you today is the social and emotional aspect of Oracy. We want to assist parents in supporting their children to listen, respond, work collaboratively and to speak clearly. We want to promote discussion, debate and an exploration of language with others and give children the skills and confidence to take control of the, of the language they use. By the time our children leave school, we want them to become independent thinkers who can think in a critical and caring way. So what can you do to support your child's obviously development at home? Talk. Talk to your child whenever you can. Walking home from school, riding in the car, or whilst playing games or completing homework. It's easy to get caught up during day-to-day -day activities and it can become increasingly difficult for some families to spend quality time together as a unit. In this instance, meal times can be one of the most opportune times for families to gather together around a table. Use this time and make the most of it. In the classroom, when engaging in discussions and having conversations, the children create ground rules that everyone agrees and complies to. This helps to create a secure and trusting environment for the children to be able to share openly. This can be the same at home. Establish talk rules for mealtimes at home. You may want to decide how opinions or information is shared. Do you go around the table and give each person a turn to speak? Or use a signal when you would like to speak? This may help stop everyone from talking at the same time. Think about how respect will be shown to other people's opinions, even when they are different to your own. Make sure everyone has a voice and has the opportunity to be heard. Whichever rules you choose to use, make sure they are right for your family. Talk can sometimes be difficult. 
not just for children, but also for adults. People can be reluctant to talk and they don't always know what to say. Over the next couple of slides, I will share with you some ideas you can use to encourage and promote oracy at home. Ask your child about their day. This again can be difficult. How many times have you asked a child, how was your day? And they say, I can't remember, or just respond with an okay. We need to find different ways to encourage them to talk. On this slide, you will see some example questions to help you. Did you do anything today to make your brain work really hard? How would you rate your day out of 10? Why? What did you do at playtime today? Would you rather scenarios are another way to get us talking. They can often be fun and engaging. They encourage children and adults to give their opinions and further their thinking by giving reasons why. It gives us all the opportunity to listen to each other's ideas and be able to agree or disagree with each other in an informal way. Would you rather be a dinosaur or a dragon? Would you rather be a scuba diver or an astronaut? Would you rather lose your sense of smell or sense of taste? On this slide, you will see some other example questions that can help promote a discussion at the dinner table. The questions we want to use to engage children in a conversation need to be open-ended questions. This means that children have the opportunity to expand on their thinking and language and not just answer a question with a yes or no. As you can see, talk and discussions where we can agree or disagree do not always have to be serious. As long as children are gaining the skills they need to take part in conversations, discussions and debates. Talking to our children helps them to develop the social tools needed to form relationships, helping to build self-esteem which supports their mental health and emotional development. Parents play a vital role in supporting their child's educational development. Talking with your child encourages them to think and express themselves. Children who are able to do this show progress in other areas of learning, such as reading and writing. The more children are involved and engaged in quality talk, the more their communication skills will improve, leading to improved social skills and ultimately to success beyond the classroom. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope it has been informative and useful in giving you ideas on how you can further support Oracy in your home.